recording okay it's recording hey everybody today i'm out here in the middle of nowhere in Vang Vieng in laos to do well building a website on my laptop so i'm gonna be using wix and this is a sponsored video but i want to show you how you can build your own website whether it be a photography portfolio or a photography website with a whole bunch of stuff in just about 10 minutes and yeah let's just get started here i'm gonna click on start now and just gonna sign up real quick so we actually have a new account the first thing that i will ask is what kind of website i want to build so definitely photography here and what we've got here is our templates there's a lot to choose from if you don't want to build a website from scratch you can just choose a template change some things and of course upload your pictures However, what I'm going to use here is just a blank template and this is the Wix editor. Now in the top left you have all of your pages, you can add pages, you can delete them, then you have your basic site settings, rulers, customer support, and then to the right you actually have save and publish preview, so you can actually preview how a site is going to look like. What you also have is an option to choose between mobile and desktop view. Now Wix will automatically try to arrange everything in a smart way for mobile devices. However, that way you can actually see how it's going to look like. And if you want to change something specifically for mobile, you can do that here. To the left, you have the background settings. You can add all sorts of different stuff, buttons, galleries. You can upload pictures, you can start a blog, and you can even have bookings. So if you're a photographer, you shoot portraits, you can actually embed that into your site so people can book appointments with you. To the right, you have all of your basic duplicate. You can delete stuff, you can rotate it. But what I'm gonna do here first is just add a menu, choose this one right here, and I'm gonna add that to the header. So everything above this line is going to be on the header, so the top of the site, everything below it is going to be the footer, and in the middle you have your main website. Let's just add that right here, make it a little bit bigger, and then add our categories. So I'm going to go here to manage menu, I'm going to add a page, which automatically also adds a web page on your website. So I'm just going to call this photos, then let's add another one, definitely contact, and then the home page, that's just fine. So it's going to be a very simple website that I'm going to do right here for this video, but I'm going to get all of the major things covered. I want to make this header a little bit smaller, but what I want to do right now is just add a gallery and there's a lot to choose from, but I'm just going to add a basic grid right here make sure it's filling just the center and then what i can do is just go to manage media I'm just gonna select all delete the stock pictures right here and upload my own let's choose them right here and i'm just gonna choose like 10 because as you can imagine the internet in the middle of nowhere isn't too great i'm just tethering on my phone at the moment okay so it uploaded everything and if i want to sort that i can just add a new folder let's say nature right here and I'm going to choose yeah just half of my pictures and track them in here then I'm going to add a new folder let's say landscapes and I can choose my rest right here just drag it in here especially if you have hundreds of pictures you want to be sure that you organize them so you can adjust them put them into a gallery all right so that looks pretty good let's just add all of my landscape pictures here apply that should do the trick and as you can see it already applied it automatically to the gallery on my site now if you would have a lot more pictures you could stretch it even further so it would fit more pictures but that's all what i have right now however i don't like the aspect ratio here so i'm gonna go on sittings or actually layout and go to the image aspect ratio i'm gonna change that to four to three so that looks a lot better in my opinion Okay, so let's just preview the site real quick and as you can see, in just 5 minutes or so, we already have a very basic home page. So what I'm going to do is go to the top left, pages, and go to photos first. I'm actually going to rearrange that so you can see it automatically changes in the main menu. And what I want to add here is just like 3 different pictures so I can have three different galleries that they link to. I'm just gonna choose like this picture right here. So add to page and then what's great is that I can just resize it like this. I can also move it freely. What I can do then is just duplicate the picture and let's put that in the middle right here. Duplicate it again and put it to the side. 
So of course, I don't want to have the gallery theme to be the same picture. So what I'm just going to do is right click and change image. Then it will bring up the media browser again. And let's just choose this one. And over here, let's also change that to this one from the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Maybe I want to make it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to do it like this. And the great thing is with the auto snap feature, it's very easy to make sure everything aligns perfectly. So as you can see here, this is just the middle. I'm going to make this still a little bit bigger. All right, so then what I can do is just, let's add some text. There's a lot of options. You can add pictures, you can add whole galleries, interactive light boxes down here even. You can add a blog, a store. There's a lot of options to sell stuff if that's what you're into, wanna make some money. Buttons, uh, you have a menus, you have contact sheets. You have just a ton of stuff to choose from that you can just add. And if you want to do more, then you can also do custom code or do multiple pages and really go in depth. But what I want to do right here is just add some very simple text. Let's just do it like this. Then again, just going to duplicate that so I can bring that over here as well. And I'm going to duplicate it over there. So let's just call these um, seascapes mountains landscapes of course you might want to change these categories but this is just kind of to show you what you can actually do so then let's save the, the site for now and go actually to yeah let's go to add a new page because i do want to add three different galleries so for that the easiest way i found is just to add a page and let's call these um, landscapes then going to go on here and make sure it's a sub page of the actual photo page and the great thing is what I'm going to do right now is just add a gallery again just a basic grid and I want to add that just going to replace all of these pictures and choose my own to put in there then what I can actually do instead of doing that for like let's say you have five or ten different galleries that you want to do Instead of doing it one by one, you can just go on here and duplicate. Let's just call this mountains and again, duplicate that very one last time to call it seascapes. And if I want to rearrange them, that's very easy to do as well. Now, what I have here is the exact same page just three times. However, now I can go to the mountain and could just change media and it will change all of the pictures, but all of the layout, everything that is on the page is the exact same, which of course makes it very easy and very simple to work with. So let's just again choose some random pictures right here, apply. I wish I had more pictures, but again, the internet isn't that great out here. So now we already have two pages and I'm gonna add a last one, manage media. Let's just choose all of these pictures right here. And you can even edit the pictures within Wix. So if you want to change the crop, you want to change some basic exposure and color settings, you can do that without having to re-export it from Lightroom. And now if I go through these sub pages, you can see all is the same gallery layout, but they have different pictures in them. So now what I just want to do is actually link these different sub pages to the respective pictures. So just go into settings on the main photos page and choose what happens if you click on it. The link opens, then choose page. So this is going to be seascapes done. I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. And going to do it again with the third one. So now let's preview the site again. And I know it looks kind of basic, but you could certainly do a lot more. And actually I have my own website in the description down below. So if you want to see how a fully fledged website after you work on it and really design everything looks like, then you can just take a look. But already here we've got our preview. And if I click on it, you can see we have our actual gallery and we can open pictures. We can look at them. We can go back to photos and now because there's sub pages you have this little drop down menu so you can either directly go to it via the photos or you just can click on the photo main page and then click on the individual pictures which then opens a different gallery so what we've got right now is a home page with some basic pictures personally i really like to put my portfolio there so the best pictures are immediately visible 
Then we have the photos here. And now what I'm gonna do is just customize the contact page. So I'm gonna go back to editor and I'm gonna go here to pages, contact. I'm gonna add, first of all, let's just add a picture. So you probably would wanna have a portrait of yourself, but I don't have that here. So I'm just gonna put this picture as a placeholder and the great thing, if I have a good portrait, I can just upload it and then right click and change image. So everything of the settings, all of the dimensions stay the same. So let's just resize that real quick. Then let's add another thing, which is gonna be the contact form. So this one looks pretty good. Again, with everything that you have, there's so many different options and you can even customize all of the options. You're really gonna be able to make the website look exactly how you want it to. And it's going to be very basic, but just a contact sheet. So name, email, bring that a little bit further down. And as you can see, the footer moves automatically. Let's rearrange that contact form to something like that. I think that looks pretty good. And then let's add some text about, you know, what I do. I've copied just the text that I have already on my website. So you can change font. Let's change that to Helvetica and change it to maybe yeah, maybe around 18, just go on here and spread it out. And here in preview, you can see in literally, I don't know, about 10, maybe 15 minutes, we've got our very basic website already done. So homepage, we have our photos, different galleries, you can open the photos, and we also have a very basic contact page. And I just switched over real quick to my main website that I've just started working on a couple of days ago. So here's the preview and you can see it's a little bit more polished. Everything is a bit more how I actually want it. Still the sample pictures, but if you really want to see how my fully edited page looks like, then check out the link in the video description. You can have a look and by the time I'm posting this video, I'm also going to be done completely with my website. So if you're a photographer, you really should have a website because it looks so much more professional to have your picture on your own website that you've designed. Also to give somebody your website rather than an Instagram if they ask for your pictures, especially if you're working with clients, that is even more important. Wix is a great place to do that. You can actually start for free, not just for a limited time, but if you just wanna have a basic website, you can have it free forever. So that's an awesome, awesome place and it's probably even going to be enough for a lot of you who just want to have a basic portfolio but then if you want to have like a store you want to have a ton of pictures on there just try it out and decide for yourself whether you want to upgrade so that's been it for today so check out the link in the video description below give it a try make your own free website and I think, I really think you're gonna enjoy it because even though this is sponsored, like it's genuinely a really, really cool editor and platform to make a website. Anyhow though, that's been me to in the middle of nowhere in Van Lieng in Laos. Uh, there are some ants, but luckily no snake. So I'm just gonna sign out. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.